You are listening to the Overwatch Rundown, a weekly podcast covering the latest in the esports scene of competitive Overwatch. Today is March 4th, and we are covering week two of stage two in the Overwatch League. All right, Jax, this week... We don't have time for an intro. Okay, no, I'm I'm just kidding about I mean, that. We I, are going to talk. I was going to say you might have to. I mean, <laughs> love, I mean, we are giving the full coverage of the Overwatch League, but you got you got to got to give shout outs to some of these other these other events that are going on up below. Mm-hmm. PIT North American Firing Grand landed. Finals, yeah. Team Story Chapter Four China and Korea Grand Finals, Contenders Trials Lepelos across the world coming to their conclusion right now and of course the continuation of the swiss esports league the most important team premier division so you have to add all the premier all of that division, stuff right all about. of that has to go into the intro level you just say overwatch league, oh man two stage two. i'm like no we've got pit Jax, team story trials. we've got it we're shortening it up uh Jax, i'm trying to you keep it short the title, man. We, we already have the clock up front in chat, Jax. That's how serious this clock, week is though. going. It's a premature clock. Because we're we're going quick. We're yeah, it is a premature clock, but you know, this week, Jax, we're gonna try and actually keep it short. We only have one full coverage of a game this week for Overwatch League. And even that we're gonna try and keep brief for you guys. Uh don't no, worry, no, there's I, still lots to talk about because I, Jackson Blizzard we tr- trust part seven in contenders trials. Um, is it what's, part seven? I, I don't know. We're going to go with part seven, guys. You know, okay. we're in episode 76. Uh, it's part seven of, of our In Blizzard Retrust. Here we are. We're we're now coming up to what's happening next week in having a ton of contenders all launch at the same, same time after some questionable things that have been happening over the last couple of weeks in contenders, both worldwide, say like South America, where... They're mentioning about times and adjusting that. Or say in North America where there might have been some administration and map problems leading to some uh, division. They have a Mexican team in the South American bracket playing on North American servers in a South American contender trial. Like... How how does that happen? Yeah, um, uh, the timing the timing that they have picked as well at least in the past they they adjusted Lepelos. I guess the South American Mexico ones. I do not know if they adjusted North, that is. is in North America. I, I agree with you. I Why feel, are they in a South American tournament? I feel like that should be disallowed personally, but uh, I I don't know, Jax. I feel I feel like maybe they feel like they've gotten firewalled out of America. Who knows? Oh. Who knows? Jax? I mean, Lepelos, they have representation in Overwatch League. Nomi is is Mexican. He he yep. is you know the Mexican representative. We have Canadian representation in we Overwatch do. League, and they have Mexican. I just I don't understand why 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 they're in South America. But you know the same could be said. Why is Blank in Pacific and not Australia? But that one I can kind of understand because Blank um, was in OPC to begin with, and they, they just decided to stay there uh, instead of coming back to the Australia region. Um, yeah. Meanwhile, this is. Go it's a cru- crucial time here for for Blizzard and, and their quote-unquote path to pro levels because now we've got all these teams who have gone through open division. They've gone through trials, and now we're coming up on contenders. Where they can finally make some semi-decent money. They can finally get exposure because here I am. I, I get up today. I load up the websites. I'm hitting refresh on things. I'm like, wait a minute. I have Kungarna here. Um playing no clout right big game in north american spoilers for our rundown obviously right i mean i'm not i'm I'm not gonna go into results but it's just you know i'm sitting i'm saying and i as i wrote in discord i wish i could watch it so now at least we have these teams getting some proper hopefully we don't know what the coverage is. yeah we don't do we i mean we don't know trust in blizzard we have to trust in blizzard part seven there you go i mean and that that's basically it when it comes down to it there's interesting stuff we'd like to see where the competition at we've we managed to see some with the the pit right like the where I mean, that's PIT, small 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 tier two tournament but, levels, some, but some of these teams were playing there so we got, we got PIT to see where was they just were. sandwiched in there on on odd number days because they can't be you know they can't broadcast at the same time as as overwatch league i know it's I, just, it basically forced them into overwatch campeonato brasileiro uh time frame of their tournament that should have been i mean that that tournament could have been done in a week if overwatch league wasn't i really don't know why it wasn't you know like the old um monthly melee right with alienware it it was three days and we're out and now you can't do that at all though you can't you you, unless you're not gonna cast games during the overwatch league which by the way now saturdays are one to like one to um 
like seven or whatever. At, at least they have set they have settled on a on a proper schedule in Aleppo. So, you know, I don't have to worry about how Thursday starts on one day, Friday starts on another day, Saturday starts on a different day. No. They all start well, except for Saturday, right? So Wednesday sorry, Thursday the went no sorry. Wednesday, <laughs> See, Thursday, even, Friday. Even that it's uh, no Wednesday, yeah, I Thursday, agree with Friday you. will all start at the same time and then Saturday has its own set time and come playoff time we'll have the playoffs on Sunday instead of having a team have to be in a studio for fourteen hours uh, or for you know all day basically playing the game. Well I'm so, happy I'm happy that's getting sorted out, Jax. I am not happy that they're trying to prevent coverage of these other games going on at the same time by saying everyone has to watch Overwatch League and only Overwatch League when it's on maybe oh, they'll let you need I, people I think... to watch so that they donate the bits yeah, so that, that the bit true. counter goes up levels we're but... gonna get that tracer skin 40 million bits required i i think maybe in time they'll do away with that but they they're trying to prove that they're they have the viewership and they're trying to funnel everyone into it. only way to get the sponsors level yeah, so... people won't sponsor if the like, way how many viewers do you have yeah we're good but yeah you know, i would say got but sour you... patch kids i'm still you know i'm still waiting for someone to eat Sour Patch or show some Sour Patch kids uh, being on yeah. on on the program there. Maybe they talked about the, the stadium, Jacks. I, I I don't know. I mean, good lemon segment that they had for. Uh, it was. What was the what was the charity they were doing that for? Sadly, I don't remember. Hmm. Uh, I would have to. I don't want to. I don't want to misspeak about which one that one yeah. was. So, uh, oh, but I mean, it's it's we'll good that they're that, doing. But... Everybody got into it. Some more enthusiastic than others. Um, but if we're speaking of thing, yeah. oh, yeah, right there in chat, we see leukemia. Yeah, there so, we go. Worthy cause. Right We're, worthy cause. But if we're talking about sour things, Jax, we have to talk about Overwatch League Stage Two, Week Two, and my picks because some of those were pretty sour. I that have to was, say, you, you, you had questionable picks, my man. I, I, listen, I, I, I'm trying. I, I'm trying I, to reach I, out I, there. I had at least one. At the very first level, you know. Let's just get into it. Yeah, the let's very get into first it. pick. You talk about questionable. Mine. My very first pick here. Soul Dynasty versus Dallas Fuel. Week two, sorry, stage two, week two, day one. I took the Dallas Fuel. I said, Coach Kai Kai, my man, he's gonna he's gonna put it together, Leplos. He's going to figure it out, and they're going to topple Soul Dynasty. Um, unfortunately, did they succeed in that Leplos. Unfortunately for you, I, I, you got that one wrong. I got that one right, so I mean that helped me out there. But let, let's be honest here, that uh, that was not a. Uh, I mean, the best part about it was for the field was they managed to take a map off of Soul Dynasty here. The score lines, guys: Hanamura four three Dynasty, Nepal two one Dynasty, Hollywood three two Dallas. That one actually they managed to hold out there uh, in the third third section, uh, and Route sixty six three two for Seoul. So, unfortunately for Dallas, not able to to turn it around at the start of this weekend. It's not even as close as when they last matched up against Seoul. At the start of stage one, it was week one. it was yeah stage stage one week one day one it was the the feature match that was back when we expected a whole lot more out of Dallas Fuel. Um, I thought I picked them, so obviously I I expected more out of them here. Um, they didn't deliver Leplos. Uh, interesting. We still have no Coco. Still no Coco Leplos. No Chipsigen or Chips Hyen. Um, we're seeing of... more AKM than Rascal. He played in three maps. Rascal played in one map. Um, yep. Is, is I mean, Coach Kai Kai's got the horses, right? He's got the players now. Um, he just got to figure out a strategy. I, I I look at them. I look at how they play Leplos, and it's not there. Um, there's so and the problem with fuel right now is like everyone everyone says they're superstar players, Jax, but the execution, the high like high level mechanical skill is not coming through in their plays. And then the strategy is not coming through in their plays either. But I mean, I see it you... more in I see it more in in their second match that they play, uh, yeah. where you talk about you know just pure mechanical skill, right? Effect for me would be their best mechanical player. Yeah, and in up, that in, up game, until which, now, you know, I, I bring yeah, it up we'll, again we'll come, get there, we'll but come to that. E, e, even here, effect not, struggling level. Of, yeah, um, it's, it's definitely showing some signs that that it. I mean, he has been up until this week showing some signs that it has been getting to him their losses that right. emotionally it's starting to to wear wear him down or he's getting getting fatigued from it i think um i think that's where effects sort of sets we'll talk about that more though Jax. let's go ahead talk about Dollar the performance second out of soul because yeah, oh, okay. i'm still i still i was still one of the ones who was not sold on soul after the debacle that was the end of stage one where they kind of fell apart uh bunny was sick or injured or something so he didn't play here we had a lot of munchkin had a little wakid lepolos 
but Seoul, Seoul looking like they have somewhat figured things out. See if they can continue that on. I, um, I agree with you. As for I still think they have some weakness, particularly when you talk about that second DPS position. I'm no. still not convinced in the Munchkin or Wiki always doing well. That means it's more Fleta to do. Current, I mean, he's he's up there for MVP I, of uh, of the uh, league right now. That plus, but... I I agree with you there. I think he's their DPS carry on that, and right now that gives Dynasty the value in that everyone has to get to Fleta. So pretty much that that binds strategies of other teams into how to get to Fleta, and then Dynasty's Dynasty coaching staff is smart enough to know that and know how to to deal with those kinds of plays. But once Flutter gets shut down, I don't think Dynasty will be doing very well. But we're not there right now, so we'll see when a team does right, that. Too. We're on to the next series. The next series, we have Valiant versus Shock. And, uh, well, Jax, this one, we both uh, picked the Valiant to take it over the Shock. Yeah. And I don't think it was a surprise when the Valiant ended up winning here, although... Didn't start off very well for the Shock, let's be no, honest. No. Valiant, or sorry, it didn't start off well for the Valiant. I'm sorry about that. Valiant, able to get an OT capture barely on Volskaya Industries, but Shock just uh, came out and took them apart on their attack, managed to finish with good time, took them into the second there. 3-2, Shock on the first one. Li Zhang Tower, though, Valiant immediately come back. 2-0 on Li Zhang Tower, Kings Row 4-3. An interesting one on King's Row. Uh, Gibraltar, another Valiant map here. Went pretty far that one, Jax, actually. Yeah, Shock had, a... had the opportunity to win this. They they took it pretty far in their OT push, but not far enough. Valiant to able to make that distance. and uh, A win for the Valiant Lepelos, not a comfortable win, not yeah. the kind of win that they would have wanted. Uh, should point out. I don't know if we mentioned it last week. I think we did, but you know their their new coach. I think he might be, have been in route um, from Korea to the states because I think I, I read um, a little while ago on Reddit that he had arrived. But uh, the coach is an MBC. Um, apparently, he's the former coach of Fate and uh, Kareev and those guys when they were over there in Korea. And you know, so he's probably the reason why Leplos we're seeing no agilities, right? We're seeing no Silk Thread, although I still have my question mark next to the Silk Thread because of that potential drama that's out there. Uh, Grim Reality, uh, I saw I saw on Twitter today, he was talking about big move coming up. I'm like, okay, my boy Grim getting into it. You know what the big move was, Lepelos? He switched roommates. So that was the big move from one room to another. Sadly, it's be. not the practice room or the scrim room, if I had to guess. So we still don't know what's going on there, Lepelos, except that they've got three DPS on the roster. Who aren't even playing. You, that's okay? pretty They're telling. Leplos, you got three DP. What are they doing? I, I listen. As as good as Kareev is, Jax, I'm more concerned about the coaching staff not being able to get the training there for the people that are your DPS players. Leplos, what this tells me, I, yeah. if I can just step in here, what this tells me is the coaching staff is more comfortable talking to Kareev and working with Kareev specifically than probably working with his other DPS players. I mean, let, I mean, hey, they got the win, right? So. Yeah. It's a result-oriented game. They say, "Hey, look, we got the win three-one. It was a good, solid, a good, good, good win there, Leplos." But I, I mean, I agree I'm with results. For down the line, I'm saying, does Agility yes. lose his edge if he's not getting, you know, stage time? What does, happens does when Kareev has his problems, edge? though? Like he's going to have problems on DPS one day too. Are right. and are you going to be able to go to your other DPS that you're not not putting in position to be the role that they're supposed to be playing? This is the, pro this is the problem that I have uh, with the lack of information that we have, Leplos. Right? Because if, if what I want, I want Zoe. I want Malik during the during these terrible pregame shows that they have. I want them to go talk to these coaches, right? Ask them. Okay, lately you've been running Kareev in place of Agilities and Silk Threat. Are Agilities and Silk Threat still getting that scrim time levels? Are they still switching in and out on maps? You know, so or has the coach just decided to stick with one solid roster, which some coaches like to do, right? And he's just going to focus on that core six. And if he's forced to make a change because of injury, then he'll hope for the best. Yeah. But like right now, if fate goes down, right? He pulls a remix. He breaks a toe. Numlock <laughs> is their backup tank. Levels. He Numlock has told us he gets no scrim time. Yeah. And so we'll see. Well, I wonder if that, that had implications internally too, when he said that on stream. Anyways, Jax, let's go ahead. Move on to the third game because this one's yep. also quick. We had Gladiators was... versus the Shanghai Dragons. We both picked Gladiators. Um, 
I didn't expect a win like this, though, Liplos. I really didn't. I mean, Gladiators came out pretty pretty strong here. Can we just mention Volskaya 2-0, oh, Gladiators, off the start, 34 eliminations to 2 for Gladiators, Jax. That yeah. tells you yeah. Gladiators came out firing. 2-0, uh, oh, yeah. Nepal, 3-2, yeah. Kings Row, and then 3-0 oh, on Route 66. Gladiators, a dominant performance over... Somebody in the lower half of the league. I so comp I, I don't want to say competition, but competition. I, I picked the Gladiators to win. I did not expect a beatdown like this. This is regression that I'm seeing from Shanghai. And I'm yeah, just I saying, agree. more than ever, please get the visas worked out. But even in Leplos, the players, I mean, I don't know what kind of practicing they're getting. You know, if they're coming from different countries, how is the language barrier going to be breached? But they've got to do something. This, I saw some, I saw a Twitter poll or a Twitter translation um from dia undead people you know they're saying There's, please just stick with us fans because they love those I, I mean i they understand got, they're they destroyed by the gladiators level i understand their appeals like i mean listen it's never fun to be cheering for the losing team it's it's a hard position to be in you know people i grew up in southern level ontario level. my dad level. listened to to buffalo bills for years and years on the radio i i i've heard the cries about you know this it's not a fun position to be in for anybody right. involved so my heart goes out for them to, you know, for what they're going through. But my mind says they have to get themselves figured out in the in the moment and stop appealing to emotions and just just focus on their game and stop stop worrying about specifically the fans. Get your advertising, get your management, keep your players away from the fans right now. What kind of advertising are they going to get with this record? I don't know what you want to do. That's a management's problem. The management has to separate right now. Uh, fans' negative emotions from their players because that's what's going to bring them down further, as Dude, I think Leplos, it probably did this week. Jax, let's, let's just go from one one bad to another bad. We and knew I'm, this I, one I, was I going to be it like that, right? We, we knew this was going to be a blowout, or at least London I expected versus, it. London versus Florida, Day but two. there was a surprise here, Jax. There was okay. in this mayhem what, versus what, Spitfire. What was the surprise in Leplos? Uh, Volskaya, Jax. Let's talk about it. Volskaya here, mayhem actually winning out on a two CP map against Spitfire. This was a big surprise for me. I mean, I would not have expected uh, Mayhem to even take a map off of how well Spitfire had played. Now, that, that said, asterisk, Hureg finally seeing some play again. Not that he's a bad player, but we haven't seen him uh, in a lot on the Spitfire roster. Hagopin, Hagopin uh, playing support as well on this one. I mean, he's he's in pretty often. Wu Yol, I guess. I don't think we've seen him quite as often. We've seen Wu Yol and Fury switch out a lot. Yeah. Um, as for me, I'm looking. One of the things that I did not like um, was the benching of Bedosin. Bedosin is the guy. Was the, he? He he was the man, right? He was the one going head to head with Jay Jonak down there in the finals of Stage One. I don't know why Coach Bishop has done this. But I've seen very little Bedosin so far this 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 stage, and I'm looking at this, and it's just it's not that Hagopin is bad. It's just I know that Bedosin is better, and I know that right now Zen is such a pivotal part in these teams' left blows. Zen is incredibly strong, bordering on overpower, but I don't want to get into that one yet. Um, but yeah. I'm looking here at a Florida Mayhem team. That might be trying to wake up Levelos. I I really thought this was going to be a 4-0 for the London Spitfire. Um, solid start here by Florida. Sadly solid though, start. sadly though, Jax. You mean the, sadly, Levelos said they they took a map. They took London. a map. That, I mean, that's small victories where you get it. So, but no victories, he says. Okay, small victories then. because let's talk the rest. Uh, Li Zhang Towers 2-0 Spitfire. Kings okay. Row shut down hard 1-0 Spitfire there. Oh, that's, that's a feels bad. That's man. not good. And then Route 66 ends up going 3-2 uh, in a fairly close one, let's be honest. That, that could have... So one step forward, three steps back is what you're telling me, Lepelos. I mean, for everything good that they, they ha had about the match, they still have other areas that they have to polish. Listen, if you're at the bottom of, of the bracket right now, if you're one of the teams like Shanghai or Mayhem, what I would do if I was a coach is... We're going to get good, ideally, you know, you start small, you start somewhere, right? We're going to get good at one map, one map type, and then we'll get good at two maps and two map types, something like that. You know, you don't, you got to, you got to say, we're going to own and win somewhere. And 
that's going to be the focus of the map everything they took we was two CP. I don't think you can reliably focus on two yeah. CP levels. That map type sin tends to go whichever way it damn well pleases, my man. I um, yeah, I mean, it certainly plays out like that. I think you know, with the proper coaching, or you know, you see teams that are stronger right. on it than others. Uh, but you know, I'm not saying that should be their focus. I'm just saying these teams need to stop trying to worry about winning every map right now and start small like think think small just like you aim right you aim small you hit you 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 focus in on your target and you get good, good results that way right okay. like no nope. that's what the, these that, teams need to do that because, takes us into stage two day two levels levels you don't want to tell me we've got a schedule we, we we've got to come in <laughs> at under 80 minutes level we Here are we are we, we're spending too much time talking about the Florida mayhem. We'll talk about Florida when they give us something to But we have so much to rant about, about all the time, Jax. Levels. And I listen, you want to talk about ranting. I, yeah, we're going to get into it. We are going to get into um, it, but we're starting here in this matchup between Outlaws and Fusion. It's of, you know, quote unquote, full coverage this week because yes. what a match. Jax, let's just go ahead and get right into Volskaya map one. I, I see. Now, this is where we. we the Day rundown fly. slows down because the one of the first things I have here <laughs> in my notes and ask new. Lepolos if I need to stop being so harsh on Dayfly. Do I do I just need to just back off, give him a break, and just see what he can do? Because I, I keep going back to OGN season one Lepolos. That was four seasons of OGN ago, right? Where he completely crumbled for AF Blue and MB just kept him on perma respawn, right? And I just I, I can't let it go. Right. So yeah, he I, comes out in stage one. We saw him in that one series Lepolos yeah. when they said they're gonna put their best team. Philly said we're gonna put our best team out there. Dayfly is our best mercy. He was again on perma respawn. So now it's not a mercy meta, right? They bring him out Lepolos. He's playing the Sombra. Very important hero, Sombra, right? Especially on Volskai. Very oh, yeah. important hero. So if the coach is making this decision out of all the players they have, right? My boy Joe Meister Lepos. I seen him in another house tour of the Philadelphia Fusion House, right? I never see him in game or in front of a computer playing, but he is their PR guy. If that's if that's what they're paying him for, fine. At least he's, he's getting a paycheck. But here we are, um, and I'm asking you, Lepos, have I been too hard on Dayfly? When you have a somber player that is as effective as Dayfly was here on that A point. Then you're going to allow Outlaws to capture out with 6 minutes and 12 seconds, as they did. Because results speak pretty loudly Can I give here. you a number, Lepolos? Yeah, go ahead. One. EMP. No. Uh, One is kill? the number of kills that the Philadelphia Fusion got on their defense, on A and B point, when facing the Houston Outlaws. It might also be the number of EMPs, though, Jax. We should double-check that one after went, the fact. I mean, but here's, here's it was bad. Deal. It was bad. I, I, it's kind of tongue in cheek when I'm asking you if I need to be if it's not be, being so harsh on Dayfly, and when this started, and I, I put my head down when I saw Dayfly. I'm like, oh my goodness, because uh, one of the guys who hangs out in, in chat with this Toasty Lock, he's often telling me Philadelphia is his sleeper team. He expects Philly to just sleep their way into the playoffs, and I'm saying they're gonna be put to sleep if they run Dayfly. But I'm so I'm, I'm here at the beginning. I'm saying, you know what? Reset. I'm going to give him a chance. Lepolos has now told us how bad Dayfly was on the A point. Let's go to the B point, Lepolos. They 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 lost the A point rather quickly. He built his EMP though, right? EMP, fantastic ultimate, perfectly. You know, if you if you execute it right, you stop the snowball. You give your defense a chance to reset. What does he do, Lepolos? He's got the EMP. He approaches from the flank like all Sombras do. You uncloak. You pop EMP. Your team gets the kills. And you settle in the defense. What does he do? Do you do you remember what he did, Lepolos? I can tell you what he did. Uber <laughs> even talked about what he yeah. did. He came from the flank, he uncloaked, and then he shot his SMG at Linkser, who's playing McCree. That... Are you trolling me, dude? Because you know what happened, Lepolos? Flashbang and killed no EMP. By the time he comes off respawn to use the EMP, they are in full-on stagger mode, so no one can take advantage of anything. And I think you told me six minutes and 12 seconds left in the time bank yeah. after the Houston Outlaws' first attack. I'm so if, if people, when you say Jax is too hard on Dayfly, incorrect. Jax is not hard enough 
on Dayfly because that was awful. I, I'm I, I level of stop. It's stop so it's so stop. awful, Jax. Okay, so it's so awful that Fusion stop. go Fusion go on the attack. They go on the attack and they're like, "Hey, we use the Sombra on our attack. It's Neptuno yeah. now playing okay. that Sombra on attack. That's how okay. bad Dayfly played defensive Sombra there. Don't worry though, Outlaws not able to hold uh, very well themselves here. Um, Fusion able to make the full capture four minutes twenty uh, after some early picks on the support players of uh, Outlaws gives them some room to to boom a little too focused on diving the backline levels. His own backline was wide open, yeah. And the, the Fusion Carpe Shadow Burner, like okay, we got this. They killed them. They took them out, but that leaves us with four twenty for the Philly second attack level six twelve for the Houston Outlaws second attack. Um, was it the same? Did they steamroll him again a second time? Fusion second attack didn't go, didn't go as well. Let's let's put it that way. I mean, Jax, Dayfly did get a pick on. I'm, I'm level, on I'm, I have it in my notes, right? It started with 420, the 350 mark. Dayfly, fantastic. Yeah. Well, Zen, he outsnipes the enemy Widowmaker. I'm saying at that point, you engage, you initiate. You've gotten the one pick you need. They still lose the trades, though. They lose Look the trades those. and kills. They're passive. Jax. Yeah. They sit back. You get the pick and you don't dive. You're running dive, Genji Tracer, dive. Well, that allowed Linkser to come back, and then Carpe gets picked off by him. Another, another like half minute gone. Uh, sound barrier by Neptuno, forced out by Fraggy. Or sorry, some very forced out by Neptuno, and then yeah, Fraggy we, out a bit in front dies because he yeah. wasn't really close to it. It was a support. solid. It was a solid initiation by Clockwork. He went for the pulse bomb kill. He missed it, but the pulse bomb led to a panic sound barrier from Neptuno. Fraggy was initiating at that point. He did not get the sound barrier, so he melted. At that point, the sound barrier has been wasted. That's yeah. a key ultimate they don't have for the next fight. Leplos Carpe drops his tracer for Widowmaker with about 50 seconds left. 35 seconds left, though, Lepolos. Linkser gets the walls up. What happens? Clockwork built another pulse bomb. Gets it onto Neptuno, who had dropped Did uh, Lucio for Mercy. You lose a Mercy with 35 seconds left. You're in, you're in a little bit of trouble. Final fight, though, Boink, who had been playing Mercy for the Outlaws, he stayed alive on his Mercy. He has his Valkyrie. Linkser under no pressure, Lepolos, with the Widowmaker. Bang, bang, bang. You're dead. Full hold, Lepolos. Shadowburn is silent. No smile, as they want to talk about. No nothing from him. No blade levels. Zero dragon blades. Four minute and 20 seconds. What's he doing in Genji? Very Lepos. quiet performance. Lepos. out of him. 420, no dragon blade? No. I, he had it. He didn't use it. Like, Hopefully what? he could build it on their defense jacks. They're going to need it. But unfortunately, okay. on the Outlaws attacks, it's Carpe's Widow that's caught by Clockwork early. Did we talk about that earlier advantage. Links are able to get good damage on his McCree in that fight. Just like that, fight already won. First map, 3-2 Outlaws that easy. One of the biggest differences here, both times, right? Philly came in, they get the pick, they don't dive. They don't exert the pressure. Here, Houston gets the pick. What do they do? They go even harder, right? They go, they start the trading, right? The trades went in their favor, they take the point. Why yeah. is Philly so passive? You I, got the pick! And supposedly Outlaws is a defensive team, Jax, but they know when to, to push an advantage. That's an important Lepolos, Interesting stat important here that, this, that the Overwatch League came up with here for Voskaya. For Carpe, his best kill streak was 7 kills. His overall KD for the entire match was 7-5. What That's, does that tell you? I mean, that tells me that they're, as a whole, not finishing... Uh, not finishing Lepolos, kills. A period. tracer widow player. Uh, I mean, he's five not performing. Five straight deaths with no kills. I mean, a lot of these stats are not like one v ones. What tells me is that the whole team as a whole is not combining to get the kills because often okay. with the tracers or their cleanup, or he's not winning one v ones at I think, all. But Lepolos, kill streak. But, I mean, you don't. I mean, you don't have to actually get the final blow for the kill streak. That's you what get I mean. kills in Overwatch, even if it's in a, even if it's an assist. But so what I would like to see is the team stats to see how many of the fusion killed. Like, what I mean, what is his percentage of participation? Like his kill participation uh, relative to the team, because that that also will question. be really viewing. I I don't know Lepolos. I, I don't know. We don't. We have to ask Zoe. To go in and figure it out, but from there, levels we go from Voskaya to Nepal. We go to King of the Hill. Um, should point out Jake in for Clockwork, Boombox in for Dayfly. Um, can't say I'm surprised there, not at all. Yeah, that's a. Uh, I I was clear that they're running that as their Sombra pick on Voskaya. I think that's probably what they practice. But 
let's go you ahead. You say that was practice. They got one. You want to talk about defense. practice, though, Jax? Let's talk about what's happening on Nepal with uh, Village here with Outlaws. I think okay. I think this is a, uh, you know, it's old school. Level. It's old school. It's old school. We're seeing the Ryan come out. We're okay, seeing... Muma playing Ryan Hart. Normally see him on Winston. Okay, I like that. We're seeing uh we're seeing the Bastion Jacks. We're seeing the, the classic, you know, the classic El Bastion. Presidente. Yeah, it's, I like it. it's okay. out it's out here. And you know what, Jax? It it works. It works because breaking that out forces Fusion to try and dive onto the Bastion. And that means you know what the enemy is gonna do to you, and you just yeah. have to outplay what they're doing. And when you're playing as poorly as the Fusion were on that first map. It wasn't a big surprise here when uh, Cool Mac got some good cleanup on that dive. Yeah. They focused really hard to get Jake Leplos. They focused so hard on Jake that Linkser and the rest of Houston Outlaws crushed him. I think it was, what, almost overtime? It was. How far uh, did they get? Yeah, it, it was, it was, it was going into OT. When yeah. yeah, when Boombox lit up the kill feed there. I mean, Boombox finally coming back live in a way that I don't think Day 5 can do on uh, land right now. Let's be honest. Uh, I know every time I mention his name, you always always want to want to say something else. But here, um, here the fusion do actually build up some some defense yep. points here, and do well to start start staying into it. largely off of the play from Boombox. But you know when Boombox is going off, you gotta shut him down. That's what exactly what happens. Seventy percent Linkser... levels. Linkser gets in with the tracer. No, uh, on to Boombox. He had transcendence when he went down. 70% left. I'm oh, sorry, they were at 70%. So 30% left for them to cap. Your Zen goes down with Transcendence. After that, Linkser gets Carpe Lepolos. Shadowburn tries to counter with the Dragon Blade. Nothing. Gets nothing, nothing from it. And at that point, Houston take it. Take the first round, 100 to 99, Lepolos. Um, a little bit concerned. Lack of output or ultimate output, I should say, from Shadowburn. Um, I think back to last week. I think our, our our episode title is Who is EQO? My question for you now, Level is where is EQO? Um I, I you just have to yeah. wonder. You have to wonder. I mean, you know, it's still early, but we go to the second map of Nepal. We're on the Sanctum uh two 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 pharmacy from the Philadelphia Fusion. And can't say I'm surprised. Shadowburn, solid fair player, solid mm -hmm. guinea player, out. solid junkrat player. And then you had what Outlaws running a two 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 junkrat soldier. No surprise to see Jake oh, Arissa as well for Muma. Yeah. Um, and Shadowburn though Conk Conk Blast here getting uh, Linkser's seventy six early, and then yep. gets Muma later in the, the first fight. Next fight, the very Jackson, next fight. Yeah. Great barrage, three kills off of that. That's all you need. Shadowburn to popping off Leplo. So I I was questioning the Genji play, fair play on point. Want to point out that the Houston Outlaws, after they lost that first fight, they stopped with the Junkrat. They went to a 3 1 2 with Jake playing the Roadhog Lopos. You know, I have questioned Jake's output outside you say that, of the Jax. Junkrat, so now we're trying to see what he can do on, you know, in this triple tank lineup. Him and Muma on the Arisa there on point in the next fight after after the one okay. I just mentioned, doing the work that the Tac Visor out of Linkser could not. They got some really good damage in extending that fight, managed to flip that point there. Um, I will say that Linkser didn't get in the Linkser didn't get damaged there levels, but he pushed the point. He did. So he stood on the point with tactical visor. He zoned them out, right? He's he, so all the defenders they had to run and hide because they didn't want to get caught in his sights. That meant that when they pushed back in, they were on the back foot. They were playing reaction, and they to, had to get into the Arissa Roadhog. Exactly, and they, you had nice. to push into the Roadhog behind the Arissa shield. And from there, Lepolos, they struggled. Well, you um, talk about struggle. They sort of forced... Like, they lost the ports, and then they still semi-engaged, wasting time in the next fight. I don't know why you would do that. Uh, it forces a late fight to happen when they could have had maybe a little bit more time and a proper fight in between. Anyways, yes. <laughs> Jax, Outlaw is able to be a bit stronger they, based they, on they, their they defensive position in taking they, out they, that last they, fight. I, yep. You say defensive position, and... For me, I look at Linkser. How many visors did he have, Lepolos? It was like every fight or every fight and a half, he had someone in his sights. Tactical visor, tactical visor. And at the end there, Poco, going into overtime, right, he puts himself to struggle, try to buy a little time. Linkser on the high ground on the far side with the helix rocket midair. And then the ding, 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 ding with the soldier onto the baby diva. I was like, my goodness. But Lepolos, I have to ask you, we talked about Shadowburn, right, in the beginning. He kind of disappeared, okay? But Lepolos, let me ask you something else. Where is Carpe? Carpe is still You didn't, still you didn't mention Jax. Carpe, Lepolos. You said Shadowburn. You said all these other players here. Jax, Blue we're box. going into Where the halftime, though. 
Where's and Carpe? We're going into the halftime, Jax, and uh, well, you know, the coaching might have a role to do here. You know, a good coaching can make changes, point. can make make the roster swaps if you're not feeling good about your roster right now. Can inspire the troops, as they might say. Uh, Another interesting stat that the Overwatch League had on the screen here, Leplos, going into this on hybrid, like Hollywood here, you, uh, Houston is 6-1, and one, the best record in the Overwatch yeah, League. Yeah, that's concerning for it's Houston. match point! We're here on Hollywood, too. Outlaws have that first attack. Uh, it's a... Uh, you want to you wanna be defending first, usually, because that, that gives you some some uh, ideas about how far you have to get on your attack. It allows you to play it out differently. Uh, a little bit. So Ella's on their attack though here first. Fusion lose Fraggy early, Jax. They lose Fraggy Fraggy early, but finally Sh Shadowburn and Carpe coming in alive, able to hold out on that that A point. You know what that allows you to do? Build up Dragon Blade, two kills, next fight for Shadowburn, another hold. Yeah. Um the sound barrier comes in for Outlaws, next fight, push fusion off. Uh but and this is poor positioning by the DPS here, Leplo. The is, sound barrier, uh, you know, Carpe yeah. and Shadowburn, you talk about their aggression, how strong they were. When the sound barrier came out, they decided to back off. They backed out one way, the rest of the team backed out the other way, and they got caught in the underground health pack over there on the right side of the Hollywood Point, Leplos. They had no backup, they died. When you lose your DPS in a dive composition, you're kind of screwed, and they lost the point. Yeah, and Outlaw is able to win an early fight to start second, pushing in pretty de decently into there. Primal Rage, though, into Dragon Blade for just one kill does secure a late Outlaw's defense. That allows um, Fusion to get set up a little bit again, but Linkser comes yeah. with his own Dragon Blade. Sound Barrier out. It, you know, at this point, Outlaw is pushing in pretty decently into second, right? You've gotten two fight wins in this this. Yeah. That's fine. And then They're you land Cool Matt in the next fight. Two kills, self-destruct in that fight. But Shadowburn... It was a stationary self-destruct. It was on top of the payload. <laughs> your your favorite. you lose both tanks? Uh, your shields are down, uh, Jax. Like, you, this is not... You know, Lippos, that's it, cool. it, did, it, it didn't fly over a building. He was on top of the payload, the, the car. He pressed Q, the big shite, shining light, and you die? Yeah, focus was clearly elsewhere, or they're, they're disengaged to, to find cover was not there either. I'm not sure if they're... I haven't looked closely to see if they were knocked around at all going into that. I don't but think they were. But even in the even though they were right there, about to cap second, it was literally right a few meters away, <laughs> Philly loses both tanks. And they hold? And they hold. I mean, you talked about the importance of the DPS and the quietness of Carpe and Shadowburn. Here, they come alive. Can we mention Shadowburn, two kills, Dragonblade, one kill after that, one kill, Pokio, Poco from earlier. All key reasons here why they hold just before B well, in well, that you fight. You talk about that. I talk about Link. I talk about bad Dragonblades. Linkser yeah. dives a little too deep. With the dragon blade, he doesn't. He gets nothing from it. Shadowburn kills him. You talked about how well Shadowburn popped off. How about I want to take you from here else. Take you to something else, Lepelos. Carpe. I would ask you where he was. Right. He gets a pulse bomb onto Cool Matt. Cool Matt loses his mech. He builds another pulse bomb. Lepelos gets both supports. Listen. So Houston has no support. Jake tries to counter. He gets Fraggy. Except you traded one tank for two supports. They full, they hold before second one point and one hundred and sixteen point eight eight meters. Incredible defense coming out of uh, fusion. They should have I DPS coming alive, Jax. That's what you Shadow want to see. Shadow burning Carpe they or Sharpe as they is is it Sharpe, Sharpe. that they're using right now? <laughs> is the is the is the term? I I don't know. Um, Philadelphia fans always seem to like misspelling things. Uh, Predominate or whatever was the other one. Okay, Jax, they're looking. They're looking good. They have the distance to make. Let's go yeah. ahead and talk about but their you, attack. But you still got to get first. First is not the easiest point. We've seen full holds on first level. And you, you know, you're you're going to see the junk ride out of Jake. You see Mooma okay. on the Roadhog here, and you start really? with the Mooma Roadhog. Okay. You see Boink Snipe Neptuno coming out of spawn off the start. So you're feeling good nasty. off the start whenever levels. you get a free free twenty seconds or so. Uh, Poco down early in the next fight. You know what? Yeah. You're defending well. You already feel good. But then. Boombox down to Jake early in the next fight, and you're starting to get really worried if you're Fusion at this point. I mean, for me, the Philadelphia Fusion, like on Volskaya, they're very passive up close. There's no sense of urgency here. I, I get that, you know, they feel they still have time on the clock, right? They still have a couple of minutes, but these first two to three fights, you're looking at this and you're saying, 
what are they doing? Like they're running dive without actually getting a dive. I think they tried to dive once they onto did. the cafe and they, they got punished heavily for that it. That was the next and fight. After that, they were like, well, maybe we're not sure or what we want to do. But perhaps this is Philly Lepos because when they do get it and they get it, it's slow. It's methodical. It's not what you expect from a dive, Leplos. Can you we expect quick burst? Can we mention the the real problem here, though? And that is Linkser getting not much value on the day. I mean, you mentioned zoning alt on his tack visor previously. It, okay, the zoning worked on Sanctum. It did. It zo- that was. That I'm was sorry, fine. but you're not gonna have a zoning <laughs> nano visor. Like, you're not gonna invest two alts in somebody and say that's like a zoning a zoning pair of ultimates. You know what I, I mean? Know. Like. I'm sorry, if you invest that much into one person, he needs to be able to finish off kills or be set up. I mean, or it's, I take or it's you a back team to the dragon blade failure. on their attack right before second, right? He dove too deep with the dragon blade. Yeah. He got nothing. If he gets something with that dragon blade, who knows? Exactly. But what you're saying now, we're starting we're seeing a trend here on the day of Lynx are having some subpar ultimates. Yeah, Lynxer's ultimates on the day is starting to get worse as the the day goes on so far, it looked like. Uh, this actually allows Fusion to cap out on a point they had here. Three twenty-five. Links so are breaking was... out the Widowmaker for the the second phase, though. He gets defensive a... Widow. You know, I'm not a fan of defensive Widow levels, uh, but Jax, I, I will say he got a couple have... holds off of those picks, though. You can't take that away from the carpet. I mean, it, or, uh, it, it, from it matters, though, Links right? These picks matter. A couple of holds, you say, because it buys time. Uh, not only going, that... going into the second stage, right? Houston had four minutes and fifteen seconds to attack the second stage to attack the second point. Philadelphia had 325, and here you're telling me that this defensive Widowmaker has already won the first two fights for them. So they're playing the clock game. Not only that, but Carpe breaking out the Widowmaker uh, in response. That means you're not comfortable with that Widowmaker, and Carpe not feeling comfortable on his hero to engage into the high ground with with that. Sound barrier for fusion in that fight come out, and... uh, Outlaws are split up, do lose a couple people. Fusion do pick up some of those kills, but Lynx are... That Widowmaker coming out again. Two kills on the support, f- forcing Fusion back yet again. So Lynx's Widowmaker here doing doing some work, causing Fusion some issues. But OT g- about to go down, Shadowburn almost dead. Transcendence comes out on time from Boombox. Two kill Dragonblade, getting Rockets before Soundbear is, is out. And Fusion from that able to take that fight and push the distance in order to win the map. They got this Leplos. I I have some concerns. Congrats. They did, you know, they took the map they had to because this was elimination. This was this was game winning for for the Houston Outlaws. Um I want to talk Shadowburn and his Dragon Blades. You talk about the the great Dragon Blade he had at the end there, Leplos. I want to ask you about all the Dragon Blades that he had before that one. Absolutely. And you know quiet. why you didn't mention it, right? Yeah. You know why we haven't talked about Shadowburn and his Dragon Blade. We talk about Linkser and well, his bad his ultimates. Defense, his defensive Leplos. Dragon Blades were great. But Leplos. He had Dragon Blade the entire second stage push. Three minutes and twenty five seconds. He had it I guess he didn't have to use it, but he had it for a lot of that first stage as well, Leplos. He's sitting on Dragon Blade for three to four minutes, man. Yeah, I mean th- there's, there's, at times you're too passive. Leplos, I'm sorry. Genji builds Dragon Blade faster than, not faster, but it's one of the fastest building ultimates. And he sat on it for three and a half minutes. And you know when he, you talk about the perfect timing, right? It was good timing. He used it. They had already gotten two kills. I was watching. They got two kills and then for that cleanup. So perhaps that was the perfect moment was for the cleanup, right? Then, after two people were dead for the Outlaws, he pops it. He gets another two for the ultimate Slotal Ball to make sure that they can't do anything. That is true. But Leplos is too passive. I, I agree with you. I don't feel like his uh, Dragon Blades on the day, on, on the whole, they're not being as effective as it could be. There's been a couple that were good, but overall, they're not, not the greatest checks. That's okay. He's not running uh, Genji off the start before, of the next map. Before we get to the next map, uh, let, let, let me ask you something, because... I noticed um, a, a Reddit that talking about people were saying we need to, Twitch needs to stop with the Jake Lull memes, you know, Jake, you know, every, everybody says Jake Junkrat, Jake Lull over and over and over. But I want to start. This is we don't have to finish it. I just want to start it here though. A okay. Serious conversation about Jake Lepolos. What did he bring to Hollywood that Clockwork could not have brought besides Junkrat? 
Uh, honestly, he was very quiet out there, period. Okay, even no, on even on his junk this, rat, right? Like the junk rat was good maybe I, for a couple of those dives. Yeah. Like he got he got that one pick on um one second, let me look at my notes here. He got the, the one pick there on defense and when they dove as a whole into them as well, that he helped out right. uh, as a junk rat then though you could argue a decent junk rat on if everybody would be able to like I said, that, this but... this this here was the start of the conversation. Sure. I I I want to continue it as we go through these what could be more maps. We'll see. It's still match point, right? Houston still needs one map to take it, Leplos. We're going to Route 66. Houston is on the attack first. I'm seeing Sombra again from Philadelphia, Leplos, but they don't have Dayfly. Who's playing the Sombra? Yeah, it's Shadowburn playing the Sombra here on defense for the Fusion. And Jax, he builds a EMP as quickly as any other Sombra does when your team is okay. building your EMP for you, because that's what Sombra is on the patch that they're playing on. Sets up the hold off of that, Jax. So that, that's all you need to do. If your team can dive and coordinate a dive well on those EMPs, then... Leplos, 79.47 meters on the Houston Outlaws attack. I once again have to ask you about Jake, because... I'm looking at what some uh, uh, Toasty Lockett said here in chat. His Tracer and his Soldier are good. He's asking, are they as good as 150K? Are they as good as Sabolbi? Maybe not, Lepolos. But here, they've got him playing the Tracer. Tracer has certain things that she's supposed to do that I have seen other Tracers do. He's in the 1v1 um, at one point against Carpe. Fails to get the kill on Carpe. At the end there, Poco pops self-destruct to try to buy some time for the zoning. I'm thinking perfect time for him to get the one clip on the baby diva. You're saying you're trying to tell me I might be too hard on him because he didn't want keep the one clip of baby diva, but I'm telling you I've seen them do it. I we've all seen them do it level So one clip, baby diva before she can recall, she is dead. Didn't get the picks level Didn't he didn't get anything. No one from Houston got anything here. And they sat on this attack for so long. Where is Linkser? Where what happened to Muma and Kumat and all the work that they were doing on the tanks? It's like, I I how do they play so well against Sombra on Volskaya, and then struggle so hard on Route 66? I know I get it. It's a completely different map, completely different yeah. terrain, but the concept is still there, Leplos. So you still have to deal with the Sombra. Yeah, so... I mean, it's it's crazy though, Jax. Like. Outlaws on their attack do get the supports down at one point off of Jake yes. cleaning them up, and they still can't deal with the Sombra health packs and how uh, the tanks of Fraggy and Poco here, just continually utilizing them, were able to stay alive, stalling out that cart, and setting up a, a hold based off of that alone, Jax. That's okay. That's unacceptable if if you're you are outlaws. Jax, another EMP secures a couple of kills in the the next fight to close out the full hold on the first point here from Fusion. That is disappointing if you're outlaws. I told you, seventy nine point four seven meters. It's match point. You full. People are talking about Houston Outlaws being perhaps the best team in the league that stay or the best team of stage two who was it Bren or someone was telling me Muma best tank main tank so far as stage two I don't believe it based on his results I'm looking here now the Philadelphia Fusion go on the attack they're seeing what 231 Genji Tracer Sombra from the Houston Outlaws Lepolos and they come out with their own 222 Tracer Widow Carpe, of course, playing the Widow. That means uh, Shadowburn is on the Tracer. We've seen Shadowburn play Tracer a little bit, haven't we, Leplos? Uh, we've seen him play it a little bit. Yeah, that that is true. Um, but I mean, it's here, Boombox, though. We have to talk, the mention. I mean, Leplos. I, I was I, Leplos, I was kind of setting you up there to correct me because while it was two 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 Tracer Widow, it was Carpe on the Tracer and Shadowburn on the Widowmaker. Um, that you got you gotta you gotta catch my cues, Leplos. I, you gotta. I mean, you up there. You know, you can say that's important, but I'm trying to tell you, Jax, your other favorite thing to 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 get on to here. Okay. It's it's the Zens, Jax. It's the Zens okay. doing the work here. <laughs> I mean, he's he's lighting up again to secure two more fights. Good start for Fusion off of his work. I mean, yeah, okay. Uh, Widowmaker kill that like gets Linkser Shadowburn's uh, Widowmine clearing that. But come on, Zens, two more kills. 
Your your favorite line, DPS or support character, Leblos. what are you? Let me ask you that? something. Let me ask you why was Boombox able to get the kills? And I'm going to answer my own question. I guess I shouldn't have asked it if I'm going to do that. should have just come out and <laughs> well, said rather it. Rhetorical. First EMP from Rockus, fantastic. Second EMP from Rockus does not get Boombox. Yeah. Who's playing the Zenyatta? He fails to get Boombox. Who's playing the Zenyatta? He immediately transcends Lepolos. Philadelphia has the sustain that they need. The fight is in extended. I already talked to you. I have problems with the Houston cleanup. I still have problems with Houston cleanup here because they didn't clean anything up, Lepolos. And yes, I'm going to continue to hound Jake because people are trying to say that you know Jake is great. Jake is good. He's an okay tracer. He goes in for the pulse bomb. Well, who have you just been talking about? Boombox. Misses the pulse bomb. Tries to backtrack. He blinks out, Lepolos. He tries to go for the hacked health pack underneath Big Rose. What happens to him? He is sniped dead by Boombox. So he goes in for the kill on the Zen. Misses the kill. Tries to retreat and heals up. Only to die to the same Zenyatta you said has been killing his entire team so far on this attack. Yeah. I mean, if that's... your tracer can't kill... Lepolos, if yeah. your tracer can't kill Zen, if your tracer can't kill Baby Diva, if your tracer can't kill his own counterpart enemy tracer, what good is your tracer? Paperweight jacks to 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 weigh down the rest of your team. Uh, also on the stat page to weigh down the stats uh, for the average tracer player kills and DPS per minute. Uh, because that's Lepolos. what Jake is sort of doing, I think, to the average. I would, I would like to see to him make... compared to other traces, his stats compared to other traces right now. For those who aren't aware, Philadelphia do in fact meet the distance, and we have a game. 2-2. Yeah. Two, two. I mean, this is a 1-0 on I... Route 66, not where you want to be love... if you're outlaws. I would love to compare this, but for whatever reason, the production crew did not give us Jake's stats. For whatever reason, they gave us everybody's stats, but Jake's stats here for Route 66 Lepolos, so I can only give you half of the picture here. Carpe, played Tracer the entire time. 26 and 1 on Tracer. Yeah. 26 and 1, and I have Jake over here unable to get anything. So now, I have to ask you, Lepolos. I, I'm, I have to ask, right? They played Clockwork on Voskaya, strictly Tracer, right? Everyone tells me Clockwork is the better Tracer. So that means you bring Jake in because he can flex to different things. On offense and defense here, they play Jake on Tracer. If Tracer is who you're going to play, why has Clockwork not been subbed in? I th I think Jax, this is probably because they were thinking more about the third phase than the first phase. Uh, and when you get held up in the first phase, that longer-term thinking doesn't really pay off. There's a lot we can talk about that. In terms Levels, of where's Mendo Kusai? But third dps option uh, his wisdom teeth jacks i think they're they're he's feeling Come better on. maybe but maybe Come not as well man. practiced I'm, I'm not I, sure I, I'm, I'm, I, I, i've heard lots of excuses jacks i haven't times, seen a good I reason i feel bad yeah. for picking on people but that that reddit post or the uh, the guy trying to say oh give jake a break no no you don't give jake a break look at the numbers he's here a, look he's at the a pro performance player. man you can you can say no, jake you has don't give him a break what are you talking about i would you like give to them a break and you know what happens Lepolos? they lose two straight maps when you give someone a break against really direct competition to them too i mean outlaws are supposed to be sitting at the top of the league and if he's not performing like he's a top of the league player you're going to Lepolos, be you a are not team. going to win overwatch league with a subpar tracer yeah. that is a fact unless tracer ever gets uh nerfed which I mean, Lepolos. Delphal. Or I was actually Forgetta asked about it on the Discord. Then. Perfect timing. Perfect segue. Yep. I was asked about it on the Discord. Um, Bridget. Or Brigitta. Brigitta. You know me. Pronunciations. I am terrible. It's people New hero correct coming us out Lepolos, every time. On the PTR, right? Very first day, within hours of her being playable, I go, I see my man Emong. He's already showing off the wombo combo of the support character Rolling Tracer. Just wham, bam, thank you, good night. We have ourselves a hard tracer counter now, Leplos. A support player who can help protect. Although, if you look at Boombox and what he did to Jake on Route 66, there is already a counter. Zenyatta. Yeah, if you're but good enough. But that being said, Leplos, I'm looking at this. I'm saying, okay, they may not nerf Tracer directly, which I think is needed. But they'll add in more counters to her, right? And here we go. We've got Brigida. And I'm watching this, and then within two days, what do I see, Lepolos? 
oh, they have made updates. They have toned Brigida down I mean, they, so that they said she that. can no longer wombo combo tracer. They made it harder, Jackson, because you can. I think the level is hard about what tracer does to kill uh, supports. They've they've shown that it's still possible to do the one shot combo with the delayed time between shield bash and hitting that they've implemented. So it's still possible, to, I think, to one shot tracer. Okay, so Lepos, what is hard? What what makes it so hard for Tracer to come up in one clip of Zenyatta? Uh, the threat of death. That's like the the only thing, right? Like, is it, it equal it's skill DP, required? It's DPS. No, it's it's much harder on the Zen to kill a Tracer because okay. you're okay. not a hit scan. You're a projectile. You're you don't have movement on your side, and you don't have a self feel button for you, right? So. The well, only we had threat a hard to counter for Tracer, Tracer and damaged. then within within a few days of it, we no longer have. And we have it's 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 still a counter. It's, still it's just not an instant wombo combo. Is what yeah, well, me. I mean, it's sort of like saying Anna's a threat to Tracer because you can hit a sleep dart, right? Like, well, you have a sleep dart. Like, what is it? Once every eight seconds, Jack? Yeah. Something something like that. Um, I'd I'd have to double check the number off the top of my head, but I think it's eight. It's either eight or ten. Probably it's, eight. it's a huge amount of time to try and hit. A, a delayed projectile firing out from you on a on a person that has multiple mobility options that can also react if they think they're going to get hit by it by pressing it one button to recall. Anyways, Jax, let's go ahead and stop let me, talking let me, about... Let me, let me ask you something quick. I'm looking at uh, Brigitte's kit here. Does Brigitte more work? Like, Is that not an insane level of healing that can be outputted there. So like... I mean, I don't want to theorycraft too long because we're not a theorycraft show. But I, oh, I think okay. I, I think the opposition to what uh, like a Brigetta or Brigitta Moira comp is going to be is going to be a long range comp. So something like Widowmaker Hanzo pick comp uh, that with an Orisa, right? Because if you have close range supports and Brigitta needs to hit her targets with her flail, so they need to get on 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 top of you so if you can prevent them from getting on top of you and uh just move around them and do damage from a distance then you might have a might be able to do it that way i don't i don't want to theory craft too much more because i haven't played enough on on ptr with it to to really to really see what's going to happen especially not at pro levels i'm just thinking okay. of what the balance that they're thinking about all right level they, they came out with we're, we're talking about balance we're balanced right now right philadelphia 2 houston 2 we're going to King of the Hill tiebreaker, Elios, map five. How does it go? Oh, well, we got Elios, of course. So what do we start off but ruin so we can see Widows again? Shadowburn, Widowmaker, Jax. I'm not gonna. Interesting. I'm not gonna bait you into trying to guess if it was gonna be Carpe or or Shadowburn this time. I'm it, just gonna come out and say. I mean, I honestly thought it was going to be uh, Carpe because he historically is their 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 Widow player. So when it's Shadowburn, I'm. What? But okay, let's well, let's let's see how this plays out. I mean, it it plays out starting with the ground war. Actually, if we're talking okay. tracers, you have Carpe on that tracer. Jack, your favorite okay. is still on the tracer on the other side. That's Jake. Okay. And Jake goes down in that tracer battle, of course, to Carpe. Not a big surprise there. Links are missing a shot on Shadowburn. Shadowburn not missing the shot for fusion. I'm that, just gonna put out that put hold out here, the next that fight. Carpe gets Jake. He builds Pulse Bomb. He takes Cool Matt's mech. Yeah, all, all, all one in fight. That very first fight. Yeah, all, all in that one fight. Next okay. fight, Linkser, Linkser misses a shot to Shadowburn's not missing the shot. That sets up Fusion for a good posi position to hold. They do from that, basically. Uh, next fight, Linkser's off of the Widowmaker. He's already yeah. done with it. He, he didn't fall into the trap. I, I, I like that. So many... So many widows would have like, no, I'm better. I'm going to do it. I'm going to out snipe him. I'm I'm going to get this. He switched us off. He gets the deflect Leplos. He gets the headshot onto Shadowburn. Which how many times has Shadowburn done that to some Widowmaker out yeah, there? I, you got you got you gotta like that. And from there they what? It's at eighty five percent when um Houston's able to flip it. So a really strong start here on the ruins for for the Philadelphia Fusion. It's basically one fight, right? One more fight, you take it and you take the first map. Yeah, but I mean, Outlaws themselves holding pretty strong on the point. It's hard to take these points back on King of the Hill, particularly on this one, I, I, I feel like. Particularly if you don't have a pick comp and you're not getting picks. Uh, so, of course, Shadowburn moves to Genji himself, Jax, because yeah. you're trying to get back in. Uh, Fusion finally able to, to breach the defense of the Outlaws because they had an extra support ultimate in, in hand after uh, a series of attacks getting them 
there. This was a nasty brawl up lows. It this was. is dive v dive, where at 70%, so Houston Outlaws had it up to 70%, Philadelphia is sitting at 85 Sound barrier initiation for the fusion up lows, Shadowburn Dragon Blade. Cool Matt gets fraggy, but with the substruct but loses his life jake gets boombox neptuno gets jake carpe gets muma linkser pops dragon blade gets neptuno boombox back on mora gets linkser poco gets boink a scrappy fight with no widowmakers straight up dive lepolos and the fusion came out on top yeah um Can i have to also ask... mention yeah. raucous at 99 percent, i believe on his alt yes. ultimate meter close but not quite close but not quite when i mentioned they had the extra support ult on the fusion at the start of the fight. <laughs> That's how close this was to being even closer to even, which would favor the defenders. That but close. because you engage that that at that timing, specific timing, or because Rockets might have missed one one orb of one shot, yeah, uh, or volley of his sonic blaster, or whatever you want to call it, uh, that could have made the difference here. That's how close this. We're now on match point for the fusion level. The reverse sweep is is here. And now, and we go to the lighthouse. Uh, two, 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 Gindy Tracer from the Fusion. Two, 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 Soldier Tracer from the Houston Outlaws. Lepolos. Um, Jake starts it out, did what he couldn't do before, gets the pick on the boombox. First cap to Houston. Yeah, that was a good, good position, or sorry, good realization that uh, Fusion were sort of getting a bit aggressive, able to pick out the back line. Uh, speaking of picking out the back line of Fusion, Neptuno down early in the next fight again yeah. forces Fusion back some more time on the side of Outlaws, Outlaws build up. Uh, but then supports have the revenge. They find the kills uh, in the next fight to secure and flip that point for the side of Fusion. I mean, Jax, you might say Zen, Zens are, are bloodthirsty, but apparently Lucio has his own his Neptuno own is it. Neptuno is fragging hard. And watching this series and watching Neptuno this closely, I'm starting to see now why Joe Meister isn't in. If mm -hmm. Neptuno is going to play Lucio at this level, and Joe Meister is a Lucio player, I don't really see a need to bring in Neptuno. Yeah, uh, I in, do want to say level lows. It was, what, 72% um, when the Philadelphia gets the flip. So, solid progress for the Houston Outlaws. They take it all the way to overtime level lows before Jake finally wakes up. He gets boombox with the pulse bomb. He gets Neptuno. Both supports down. The team cleans it up. Um... The primal going rage in, from Muma too. Can we also mention that going yeah, into OT? Yeah, for me, I from there I was gonna go and say, Braggy. Yeah, towards going the down end there, early. he goes in right. Neptuno yeah. has the sound barrier. A second after Fraggy dies, he uses it. Philly goes all in right. Sound barrier into transcendence. Shadowburn has Dragon Blade. We don't see it, but Muma focuses him with the primal rage and kills him i'm I, at this point i'm almost certain they're tracking ultimates because that's what they do at this level they track ultimates they have not seen Shadowburn with a blade it's coming to a final fight so you know Shadowburn is going to be in three minutes Muma if... completely zones him out <laughs> just like thinking. you don't we, we don't see it but the, the, this, the, it's the only thing we can infer yeah. is that muma decided to focus and get rid of him because he knows that it will the dragon out. blade is a game winner um fantastic work by muma for doing that and especially because when he does it is when the transcendence is up. So he could have gone for the Zen, right? Because Zen, even though you can't hurt him, you can move him. But yeah. who knows what would happen? He decided to remove the Genji completely so that the transcendence that was up couldn't help him at all. And from there, Lepolos, it's 1-1. One -one. We're in the final type map now yeah. for this tiebreaker. Going the distance, man. You can't you can't get better than this when you're watching good teams play off the uh, play against each other, play to to the just... I'm, I'm not going to say they played all of the match well, Jax, because right. honestly, both sides have had failures, pretty oh, bad she, failures. Uh, that was, unforced you, you already heard me talk about the Fusion the uh, Volskaya debacle, but yeah. But Jax, here we are. We're on the well. Uh, Shadowburn going down early first year, giving the Outlaws the early advantage on the well. Not where you want to be if you're in the Fusion. Fusion having to fight right. back in. It extends weirdly with Fusion keeping on the attack, keeping on trying to force it, but ultimates come out for the Outlaws, able to hold here uh, for them. 75% before the Fusion can finally make any progress. Yeah, level. Shadowburn Blade. with the Dragon Blade gets Raucous, who was the one person who did not get the sound barrier from Boink. From there, Philly rolls that into a 6 0 fight, and they flip it uh at eight so they started at 75 percent. they got the flip at 88 percent. that's one fight level yeah that's one fight houston needs to take it back um 
30 to 35 percent oh yeah go ahead i was gonna say like next fight tack visor comes out yeah big surprise jacks another tack visor on the side of outlaws gets nothing absolutely nothing how many how i want to know i want to know how many tack visors came out for the the outlaws and how many kills they actually got with him that was rough um you know if 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 he gets something with the visor he has the potential to end it there Uh, they get nothing from that carpe is in on raucous shadow burn gets Linkser, Neptuno, Boops, Cool Matt into the pit, and it's like, holy crap, are, are Houston really going to let this go? Yeah. Having got it to 88%, 75%, Jake Lepelos is in on Boombox, gets Boombox, who had to transcendence. So Jake, again, with a good, solid initiation, as Tracers are supposed to do on enemy support, um, Linkser gets Shadow Burn, and the Outlaws flip it at 89%. Can we talk about so, the other side of that fight, though? Yeah. Carpe missing the Pulse Bomb. Uh, I believe on that one, uh, not able. He did force trans out, importantly, no, but didn't get that the kill. was the big thing. He missed. See, this is the see, interesting thing, though. This is the second time now that a pulse bomb forces a reaction here. So he threw the pulse bomb. He missed it, but the enemy Zenyatta Rockus got threatened. a little freaked. Lepelos yeah. hit that Q, hit that transcendence when it wasn't really needed. And as a result, they don't have it for the next fight. We're kind of huge you know, issue, though. Huge issue, you know, though. We're, we're, it's, we're we're kind of spoiling things because you know we would make a big deal about it if it wasn't important, Lepelos. Because the next fight, Ultimate start coming off in the Philadelphia Fusion. Houston doesn't have the transcendence when they really, really need it. Um, this was close. Boombox has a transcendence. He dies almost immediately after it runs out. Right. Sound barrier comes out for both sides. Shadow burn. Ever the patient Genji Lepelos waits out the barrier, pulls out the uh, Dragon Blade. Final fight, Linkser tries the Visor Lepelos to save it. It's nothing. The dive is all over Linkser in the side room. Another Visor with no output. Yeah. Fusion roll on. They take it. Uh, listen, I mean, Shadowburn. There's another Visor. He didn't get anything. Key moment to land land uh, here for Shadowburn. Obviously, you'd like to have gotten better dragon blades throughout but here getting two kills there links are another attack visor getting nothing i'm sorry i don't care if you if you tell me they're zoning like they have to be zoning because they're a threat that last one levels they dove him so hard on that last now that was you know yeah, i mean that was desperation by him yeah. for trying to initiate it there where he had no I, exit and couldn't really do anything but stare at fraggy who left in front of his face but man, a bad day for Visors for Linkser, man. Yeah. Really bad day. Visors being left behind like it's the 90s or something like that. I don't know what's going on with them. But uh, clearly, Soldier 76 is on the side of Outlaws and need to improve their timing and look. I do want to point out, them. though, Lepelos. I go back to the predictions. Jax takes Philly, Lepelos takes Houston. Uh, I'm disappointed. I mean, they, they had everything set up, Jax. Listen. Anybody, if you if you had a two O on your side of the team, I don't care what team yeah. it had. It's best of five. You have a two O. The statistics will be on your side in most games that you will <laughs> you will want to pick the team that has that two O. I I'm not going to go against my pick of the Outlaws. They had everything they needed to win here, and they crumbled. And that's their own fault. It's not my pick's fault. It's them for being bad. <laughs> I, I don't know. I had the pick right. I'm trying to say they let me down uh, right. because well, honestly, we they, they completely did completely overshot our time budget. Our clock man in chat is absolutely fired for not keeping us on. Jax, schedule we're going to move quickly. We have then. to burn through. That's all right. Burning through, though, four. Jax. <laughs> let, let, let me do this. We're going to burn through the, a couple of it. matches here because next NYXL versus Uprising Jax. This one, not close. We have. I will say I took New York. You took Boston. I, listen, I I felt Why Boston you took was going. Boston, I I I, okay. I took Boston both times this week, thinking you know yeah. they're going to have a bounce back uh, week. They had the upset over NYXL. Arc was out last week. Maybe he wasn't going to be feeling up if to play, and then they would have right. Mano. All these reasons, unfortunately, none of that came true <laughs> uh, because I do not have a crystal ball. NYXL two one Hanamura. 2-1 Nepal, 3-2 Kings Row, 3-0 Watchpoint Gibraltar, all NYXL, 4-0 here for uh, them in this matchup. Jax, we're just going to move on. Quick. Just disappointing. That's all I'm going to say because I expected more out of I expected them to win. I expected more out of them. I expected more out of Dreams Casper. I got neither of those. We're on day three now. Oh, 
it's we, Boston. We have Boston again. And Jax, if you if you talk about being disappointed, I guess maybe they're disappointed. If they lose this one, I'm whatever. Dude. Yeah. Well, I think I think maybe they're not disappointed in Gamsu, but they decided to start Kalios maybe for the experience. We've talked about this. Maybe when you're playing weaker teams, you get some of your other players' experience on the stage. It works out though. Boston here shutting down Florida hard, where London Spitfire could not. Uh, and of course, I am talking Volskaya Industries here. Uh, 2 0 for Boston off the start here. 2 1 Boston Li Zhang Tara. 3 1 Hollywood. 3 0 Route 66 6, all for Boston Jacks. I have to say, uh, a comparable or better results against the Mayhem than the the Spitfire right. had just a day earlier. I mean, look, you say that, right? Like, the I, map they took just... was Volskaya. And then you look at Volskaya, right? So you say, okay, they play. You were talking about them focusing on a game mode or a game type. Yep. And I'm looking at it's not full sky right now. seconds yeah. in the time bank for Boston. Zero levels. They didn't even get first point. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I mean, this is it's middling. Like it is. Flo no, I'm not. I'm done. I'm not gonna talk on Florida. We're on next game. Next we're on game. to next game. Well, Jax, we're talking about your LA Gladiators versus no. Seoul Dynasty here. Oh boy. We both picked Dynasty. It's not a big surprise here uh, that Dynasty ended up taking this one. Dynasty two one on Hannah Murray. Jax, great play out of Gladiators coming out of Nepal though. We gotta say two zero. -oh. On Dynasty, rare in the past year that we would see Western teams beat Korean right. teams on King of the Hill. I mean, Jax it's a mixture. It's 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 a mixture here. Um, I mean, that's but, yeah. that's that's the one good thing. Jack's not good from there. Two one Hollywood as defense coming out strong again for Dynasty there, and then Gibraltar absolute shutdown of the Gladiators side. Let's be honest, Fleta Gladiators had no way to deal with them. On, New DPS. And, I'm just gonna put that out there. They need to go out and sign some more DPS. I, I know we're, we're short on time, so I'm just, I, I don't want to go into it. Jax, I talked about it. It's, it it's, where's the damage level? Jax, we're going to talk the about damage? the next match. Uh, Fuel versus Valiant. You talk about signing DPS. Dallas already signing all the DPS, but not having it come out. Hanamura 2-1 Valiant. 2-1 Nepal Valiant. 3-1... What? Or sorry, 2-1 Hollywood Valiant. And then Fuel able to take it on. Watchpoint Gibraltar. Listen. Fuel still having personnel issues. There's a good clip out there of Mickey trying to calm down the team in mid-match right. because they're not, not keeping together. I feel like their personalities and everything is clashing. Their DPS, though, Almost. in this Look match... Look at these times! Hannah Moore, Valiant have 229 seconds left. Nepal, somewhat close, but not... No, not really close. 2-1, yeah, but it was 199 for Dallas and 130, 167. Third map, Hollywood, 233 seconds in the time bank for Valiant. Watch point, 97 seconds in the time bank for Valiant. So This isn't Lepolos. Can I Where's Coco? Where is Chips High? Like though, Those aren't the issues right now. Right now, Effect has lost his, his feeling. He can't win the 1v1 soon. Lepolos, had his number had, throughout let, this series. Let's be honest then. Hold on now. I know we're rushing, but after that, you say Effect has lost the mojo. Yeah. Where's Taimu? You need he to lost his mo Lepolos, what's with the mojo down in Dallas? It's I, gone. I agree with They're you. They're two best DPS players. Jax. Uh, formerly. Taimu yeah. and Effect are both in slumps. They are in slumps, Jax. And while they have shown in the past to s sit Taimu on and off, I I'm sorry, but Effect right now needs a little bit of time Do to regroup. you bring in Rascal for Effect, Lepolos? Absolutely. Or Seagull? You, uh, you absolutely. You bring in Rascal more than Seagull. But... You, you absolutely go in next week and you sit. You sit effect let him regroup because right now he's clearly affected he didn't even go back to quote unquote the dugout he had to practice with his I, I don't i'm sorry see, if you're feeling I don't, that what kind of practice not, what kind of practice can you get in the training room during a 10 minute halftime that, that can actually i'm make sorry a difference. if you're a coach and you're seeing that you need to pull him out of that match because he is not in the he's not in the right headspace and he needs to cool down Jax, let's go ahead and talk about the next matchup. This one, not close at all. We're both all. wrong. We both took Dallas oh. over Valiant and Lepolos. Yeah, well, we're, we're, By the way, where was Agility's uh, Silk Thread or Grim Reality Lepolos? I'm just yeah, saying. I mean, I'm just saying. We, we've talked about that one at length. Jax, we're not going to talk this one at length because there's not much length to it. It was a really quick game. Fusion, Spitfire, all Spitfire here. 1-0 uh, oh. oh, Hanamura, Spitfire. 2-0 two, two, oh, Nepal, Spitfire. 1-0 oh, Hollywood, Spitfire. 2-1 Route 66. Spitfire, Level of dominant these matches, performance these, against these the weren't these weren't even. I'm Hannah Moore. They don't get first point. Levelos Nepal. They lose to Hollywood. They don't get first point on Hollywood either. And then they get one point on Route 66. What happened to the Philadelphia Fusion that played Houston? I I don't know. I'm the Houston Holy also crap, looking spent. Man. 
Houston. I can't even blame Dayfly. He's not here. <laughs> he wasn't there. Jack's fusion clearly didn't look as well practiced for this one as they did against you know Outlaws. Why? Although I'm looking at the lineup here. You know what I see? My boy, Badosin, back in Hureg on the bench. Spitfire? That tells it all right there. Yeah, Spitfire it, took Bishop this one serious. Bishop messing around. He put in Badosin, who started to right-click on Zen. Bang, 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 man. Yeah. And Jax, let's, uh, let's keep it going, though, quickly, and then we'll, I'm going to come back to that. Uh, Houston versus NYXL, another... Oh, took Houston again! <sighs> Listen, I, I they were going well into the week. They they showed okay. pretty strong performance previous week. Let's talk what happened here, though. one over Sky to. NYXL, 2-1... Li Zhang Tower, NYXL, 6 5 Kings Row, NYXL. Jax, disappointing there for Houston. Yeah. Uh, and then 2 1, 366. I'm just going to say this, Jax. It was a poor performance out of both Houston and Philly, including in the match that they played in their head to head. The amount of unforced errors and lack of mechanical skill coming out of people that we know can perform better out this... of both of these teams. While it was an entertaining game between the two teams, when we watched them play up against the top teams, yeah. in the league right now, you can see that they're not hitting their shots this week. This was telling to me, yeah. this the, 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 the last two series we talked about, Philly, London, and New York, Houston, very telling. They're not there. They're not ready for that next step up to, you know, we, we, had, our, we had our finals between London and New York, and these teams are showing they're just not ready. And if I'm Houston, Lepelos, I have serious concerns, because right now, they're playing a lot of Genji Tracer. And I, I let's just let take a look at anybody we would put them up, right, on their quote-unquote level. Do you feel that the Genji Tracer from Houston can match anyone, Leplos? They can't match Philly. They lost. Can't match New York. They lost. Do you think they can match London? I bet you they can't, Leplos. Do you think they can match Seoul? I bet you they can't. Yeah. I bet you if they're going to keep running this and they keep trying to force this dive, they're going to lose. They're I not good enough. They might beat, you know, Half the league, right? They could beat half to three quarters of the league. But that top half with this dive with Jake on Tracer, you're not winning. Yeah, I, I'm, I agree I'm with sorry. You, you're not winning. They, now, they I don't want to hear anything about Jake. Oh, Jake's a good Tracer. He's a good soldier. He's not good enough. I, I mean, listen, we mentioned it in the, the series how few TAC Visor kills that they got. It's just an example of poor execution of what they're doing with, with their skill right now. Because execution is trumps a lot of things that you, we can talk about in terms of meta and if they're not executing what plans they have well then the meta doesn't really matter if you know what i mean like and i don't think they're they're executing what they have and their skills that they have well enough right now you're not clicking enough headshots right now if you're linked here it comes and goes right now if you if you compare yourself to fleta Fleta is hitting those shots, right? So you need to up your skill right now. Jax, let's move on to the last game of the week yeah, quickly. Uh, it's Dragons versus Shock. It's all Shock. 1-0 Hanamura, 2-1 Nepal, 3-2 Kings Row, 5-4 Watchpoint Gibraltar. Dragons couldn't even get a map off Shock this week. A disappointing <sighs> this week is... for them. We mentioned that uh, Shock at least doing what they wanted and got a full win, four maps. This At is least concerning, Lepelos, because for the Dragons, there's no better week to get a win, and not just a win, there's no better week to take a map, because you're facing the Gladiators in the Shock, who are on the bottom with you, right? You're all down there at the bottom. This is they were showing, they were getting better, and now they've regressed, Lepelos. I, I yeah. So we'll Jax, uh, let's keep on moving though. Do you want to do the predictions now, or save that for? Later? Uh, we'll come back to predictions. Okay, so let's go ahead. Holy crap, we're so far. <laughs> Let me keep on moving. We're moving into the Overwatch PIT Season 2. There was playoffs, I believe it was upper bracket, lower bracket, and then grand finals. Jax, a bit of a surprise, upper bracket, Envision Esports winning out over Fusion University in the upper bracket in three games. Yeah. Uh, no surprise when the lower bracket was won by Fusion University 3-1 over Fractal. That set up a grand final rematch between Envision and Fusion Jax. Unfortunately for Envision, this time all Fusion University winning out in three maps. Pretty sound, pretty soundly there, too. All right uh, now, of the tier two teams that we have seen, uh, Fusion University is the undisputed king. We'll see uh, when I, more academy teams come up through. That's contenders level. Contenders, right? But I mean, yeah. those, those contenders teams, they didn't sign up for these events. They didn't sign up for PIT. They didn't sign up for, what else were we watching? Beat Invitational. So as of right now, 
it's fusion because they signed up they played they showed us something these other guys i don't know what they can do i don't know they haven't showed me nothing here we go next uh we're talking about overwatch team story in china chapter four the playoffs were kicking off uh this week Jax, oh and right through the grand finals you had picked runaway to take it all i think i had picked x6 we were See, both wrong i i had said that runaway some of us was missing some players especially cox who has uh gone on retirement so i would like to amend that and uh, say kong du pantera you can will say that now win the uh team story chapter four listen uh you can say that now but uh you know records will show okay anyways jacks let's just talk about what happened here metabellum make it to the semifinals easily three over scatis gift runaway losing to lgd gaming three <laughs> two that was a hard I one i gotta say my boy eileen lepelos why shanghai not sign eileen yet what what what, what, what are they doing I, I honestly young, don't I know, know, but man, why is he not on their contenders team, Leplos? Why is LGD oh. Gaming not their contenders team? Why do they have that terrible? Never mind. No, all all, don't have all time. good questions. Don't have time. All good questions. Don't have time. Next. Down, down below, Kongdu Panthera, Lucky Future, Kongdu 3 0, X6 3 0 over T1. I told you, I picked Kongdu to win it. No surprise there. No surprise <laughs> uh, at all. Upper upper uh, bracket of the semifinals, Metabellum 3 2 over LGD Gaming. LGD did not make it through. X6, unfortunately, did not match up against Kongdu Panthera here. I told you, Kongdu was going to take it. 3 0 for Kongdu. Uh, third place, X6 able to take that over LGD Gaming. So. That is disappointing. I was actually hoping LGD would take that. Um, hmm, interesting. Yeah. This, and oh, God. This map pool is garbage. Hanum, oh, never mind. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. We're just going to mention the grand finals. Kongu Panthera winning strongly over Metabellum here, three one. My dude, I told you. Way to go, Kongdu. Yeah, I mean, right. good rebound for Kongdu. Lepos. They, they. Well, this is Pan who's on Panthera now. We've got Decay, Jin, Diding, Void, Changsik, Roar, Coma, Luffy. Hearing some rumors, some of these players might not be here. Yeah. Uh, in a few weeks, Lepos. I'm just saying. I'm hearing rumors, but uh, we'll see. So, congrats, Kongdu Panthera, though. Overwatch Team Story Chapter Four Champions. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move on into discussing Overwatch Contender Trials, Jax. What is that? That is the lead up to all the contenders season. So we went from open division. From open division, we go to trials, and from, from trials, trials, we're now to contenders. And so that that's the path to Pearl, right? Yeah, it's a pretty long path with nobody okay. watching. I mean, we're 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 slowly going down this path. I just had to make sure that I I I understood things because. Uh, there's a little lack of information out, but you know. Yeah, it's not it's not entirely easy to see it. It would be nice if they ever like co uh, centered all this information and in, in actually show the pathway to pro instead of uh, just sort of leaving it. Anyways, Jax, two teams making it out of trials to find contender spots, and I okay. just want to simplify this down to the two teams that won. It was last night leftovers six okay. one f one of us. Uh, they had to to win on the last day to get through. They did. Bubbles, highly. Uh, I wish I wish that these matches had been broadcast because it was one of us versus last night leftovers. Last night leftovers had already qualified, so they effectively didn't have anything to play for. And lo and behold, one of us beat them three one. Whereas last night leftovers had beaten everybody else handily. And they come on this last day. They just happen to lose here, Lepelos, which means teams like Fractal Esports, No Cloud, Kangarna. They're out, Leplos. Yeah. Let me ask you, is there any chance, any chance, Leplos, last night leftovers through the game so that they could keep the tougher competition out of the next stage? I mean, who? listen, Tinfoil had on Jax. There's lots of reasons why teams can throw the games. And guess what? Esports is not immune to I'm just, potential I just, it's just, it's issues a like that. I mean, I saw this question being posed on Reddit. It's something that came to my mind. I'm saying, if you have the chance to weaken your opposition, do you not take it, Leplos? Uh, some people will say yes, uh, absolutely. I feel like okay. that's against the spirit of the game to oh, game the, the system. Oh, the spirit of the game, Leplos. It, it's absolutely it, it true. It is I, crap he's trying to feed us, guys, but that's okay, no, Leplos. From North crap. America, we're on the move. This is a worldwide now, now tour. You got me, now you got me all, all hot and bothered about this topic, Jax. <laughs> and you're, you're not going to allow me time to rent. That's okay, Go Jax. We're going to move into Europe where six teams <laughs> actually get get through. Uh, and that means so there's two only from North two America, teams that do not. Six from... Europe. This is so confusing, Leplos, but okay. Yeah, that's because all the Overwatch League teams in North America get their academies right. okay. in, and Europe okay. has uh, only a few people remaining from the contenders staying there. 
Uh, okay. So six teams from top and bottom. We had Orglis and Hungry CIS Hope, Angry Titans, Copenhagen Flames. That's a disband. Young and Beautiful all making it through to contenders. I'm... And from there, there was a steep drop off. Number seven, who did not make it through, prior... Primordial, only winning one game. Guess what? That was over uh, Servette Geneva Esports, who did wow. not win a single game. So, all right. Uh, competition may or may not be there for most of the teams. I mean, basically what we're seeing, uh, we're seeing most of contenders Europe here already played through, and we're seeing two teams sort of standing out on top of the, the okay. leaderboard there. All right. Uh, we're going to move into Korea trials, Jax. All four teams here making it through contenders or trials mm -hmm. to get to full contenders. Team 7, we've seen do well in the past, MVP space. Returning Metabellum, Metathena, both making it through as well. All names we have seen. Uh, unfortunately for Bond Spirit Gaming, Requiem 6, X -C -X -E -X -L -C -L -E -A, and Crusher, those teams not making it through. While they have been participating Bubbles, in events, what's left for them? There's uh, no OG in. What's yeah, left? Uh, I guess streaming on Afrika TV or whatever these days because All right. there's no other events for up and coming I'm teams. just I'm just saying there's no OGN there's <sighs> okay S South America I guess South America is not technically done yet Jack so uh, or, or is it's not, not... Compl completely uh, let, me just, let me take recorded. a quick look um, South America I think they're on link Lepos is going to keep talking while I click on the oh, trials okay. tab so, like, I'm looking at I will this. say one of the things that we done, do know actually updated. it is I believe it is done, Lepolos. Um, you see Uprising, you see Caverna, you see Centaurus, Dogman, WS Orange. Take out Centaurus. Centaurus has been removed for oh, account right. sharing. We remember we linked, yes. we talked about we we try to avoid the drama. It's just unfortunate. There were it's just it's 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 it happened down there. There's a big post it down there. Yeah. What this means it, is it, uprising. It, it, it's unfortunate. They they were the they were one of the better teams, but yeah. They got disqualified. So, it, and levels, they're out for two years, not one, two seasons of contenders before they can come back. A little yeah. harsh by Blizzard, yeah, especially that's... if you go through and you read the whole the whole drama filled thing. Stop by the Discord; you can find a link on it. Yeah. Um. But for as far as I know, it's Uprising, Caverna Esports, Dogma, and WS Orange who made it through to the contenders main. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. So okay. Well, good luck to them. We'll we'll mention, uh, the Pacific region, Jax. Where okay. Trials going on there, and Jax is Detonator Korea winning that one uh, at the top. What? Out of the six. Why is Detonator Korea here and not in Korea? I guess they know where they can win games, Jax. Uh, oh. EXL. We had another EXL team, but this one EXL. Why Rezo. are they in a different? Never mind. Fine. Nope. Cyclops Fine. Athlete Gaming. Xavier They're Young. Back. Okay. Bizarre. Naturals Hokkaido. Those teams make it through for that Pacific region, Jax. We're going to keep on rolling Australia region. We had five teams make it through. Uh, Witch Hunt, No Sea Predators, yeah. Serenity, pa Pantheon, Esports, and Moonlight. All teams that I'm not familiar with. I'd have to go through them, see if we know any players. Jack's China region. Uh, is this right? Yep. China was, China, China's been done um, a while ago. Uh, on the trials, that is correct. Is Team Scott has skipped. Moss 7, JD Gaming, Super Number 1. Lucky Future Zenith. Yeah, it looks like they sort of did that differently. Okay, but that's all right. We're going to keep yeah. on moving there, Jax. I'm not going to mention... Ripples. Basically, contenders start... So the trials are done. We just want to give these teams a shout-out for making it through trials um, and making it to contenders. I don't know how we're going to cover contenders, Lepolos. I Who has time? Yeah. All of these tournaments, for all the regions we just went through, was it six regions, yeah. seven regions? They start next week. Who has time for seven regions, Lepolos? We barely have enough time. And then Overwatch League. And then... Some spacing, dude! And then Swiss Esports League Winter 28 Premier Division oh, Group Stage, go. Jack. Okay. So how are we going to cover this? Uh, yeah, this one's, Jack, still pretty early off. We're about... We're not even halfway through. We're just about halfway through week three. Early Two results. Two undefeated teams? Okay. Yeah, undefeated teams. Lasan Esports, Silent Gaming, sitting up there. My insanity having lost a game, too. So uh, maybe a bit of a surprise there, but... We'll keep on paying attention a little bit to there. We're going to move on from that and talk about our predictions, Jack, for Overwatch League Week 3 of Stage 2. Okay. So, so let me let me get this all started up for our next uh, our next prediction. Week 3, Stage 2, 
Oh, I feel I feel so bad for Shanghai Lepolos. I mean, you go from playing the Gladiators and the Shock, teams that you could potentially beat, take maps off of, they come across the Soul Dynasty Lepolos. Um Wow. The Shang the Shanghai get a map Lepolos against Seoul. Do they do, do do they get even one map against the Soul Dynasty? No, I think Seoul has been doing well enough right now, so I think uh, Soul will take us four. We both take Soul is what is what we're saying. Yeah. Uh, so let's see. Next up, we had the Shock versus Dallas here. Ja Jax, this one, this one's hard to pick with how this you'll have been. Shock has up. actually been, they didn't win, but they played better. I'm I okay. This might be the last time for a while in Coach Kai Kai I trust. Um, wow. I have serious concerns with the Dallas Fuel right now. Serious concerns. I but I, I mean I sort of agree with you there. I okay, Dallas. I would not be surprised if San Francisco wins though. Dallas is looking very poor. But yeah, I'll take Dallas. I mean I can't I see I, I, I hate saying that, right? I've talked about how bad they are, but San Francisco still isn't there yeah. yet. Not yet. So I have to take the Dallas. Uh you know, this is a hard one. I agree with you. I know. I know Lepolos. Uh, I'm actually going to listen. I know I'm picking out there Ooh, a lot. Here we go. But he here's the problem. Like, effects being poor for, like, this week and it has been showing signs of decline. Like, maybe an easier opponent will be there. But, like, if you look on the other side, Dante's been playing better. Dante has improved. Um, uh, Shock has started to come off of the Baby Bay only yeah. uh, meta that they've been playing. Like, but... Like I look at their gladiators results in week one, and it's hard to it's hard to pick them when they lost four Lepolos, to gladiators. Time's up. Badly. There's a clock in the chat. Okay, Toast we're going. Lock. With, Who you got? I'm going with fuel too because I don't okay. trust in okay. that shock has. Come I up told enough. you I can't. And yes, Lepolos shields up for my gladiators. Hopefully, the DPS will be awake for half. Of this week. So you're I, seriously going with the Gladiators here? I, I'm, I'm so sad because Fisher and Bishu are playing well. Shaz and Big Goose are playing well. The DPS three, the DPS trio, eh, eh, they're not playing too well. Well, Jax, I mean, I clearly have to take the Valiant. You got Soon going off. You got Unko doing well these and days. I am concerned about Soon, but I'm hoping that Shaz, the Tracer Assassin, that is Zenyatta. We'll deal with soon. Hopefully, he doesn't get any back caps, Lepolos. We move on to, oh, a big game here. Big game alert, Lepolos. Day two, week three. Soul Dynasty, Philadelphia Fusion. Who you got? Uh, Jax, come on. It's a dynasty right now. Fusion, Fusion died. You, have, doubt, Lepolos, you have doubts over Philly now. <laughs> Philly's going to get shut down hard on their dive here. Again, just as they were against the Spitfires, let's be honest. It's yeah, going to happen again I here so. against the dynasty. I mean, we might see EKO. Maybe he can be that flavor that comes out if that happens. Like, he's the wild card right now for Fusion uh, in this matchup because I think if they go with the lineup that they had on Saturday... I'm not sure, man. Be... EKO, like, one of the differences that Reinforce and others talk about is the pacing and the stylistic differences between him and Shadowburn. I think his aggressive play... He he tries to get in on Toby and Ryu Jehung Leplos. He might get shut down. Like, those guys don't play. Yep. Some of the original DPS uh, uh, support duos... But then, Lepolos, we go Houston versus Los Angeles Valiant. And I take the Los Angeles Valiant. And I can tell you why I take the Los Angeles Valiant. It's because I don't believe in the, in Jake. I don't. If Jake shows me he can play Tracer, I will start to change my tune. But right now, they're playing this lineup with him on Tracer. They are not good enough. Soon, Lepolos. Soon is going soon. to wreck them. I agree with you here. Like, soon we'll have I, their number. And if you soon look at was Kareev, beating up on effect. And yes, effect is in a slump. But I think a slump effect can still be Jake. I should, if Tayrong, the coach, if Flame, the GM, if they say, listen, we're going to run more clockwork. Maybe Mendo Kusai has had the dental work done, Lepolos. We'll finally see him instead of – I see him streaming, Lepolos. I don't yep. see him in these games, but – so Valiant. not only that, I look at the poor play of Route 66 of Houston. It's up again this week. Lepolos, uncle, if uncle goes Sombra, yep. what are they gonna do? Uh, so he, here's the deal. I don't think I don't think Houston will have this one against Valiant. Valiant's gonna outmatch them on a number of maps here, okay. uh, uh, and they will they will take it. Boston. 
Uh, in the next series, of course, we're talking Boston versus uh, Shanghai. No surprise, I am going Boston as well. Uh, London. <laughs> okay, why? Why? You, you, got, why you, got, you gotta let us thing? get to the game. Why is Jack? this the thing again? Why is Boston having to play back to back games? They play the last game of day two and the first game of day three. If you want them to play on that day, why? Just rotate them. Yeah, why I agree. Are they, why are they? Why are they had to play first level? What kind of rest period is that? It is very questionable because I think they they did it again this week, this past week, right? Like they had two games. So yeah, it was NOXL yeah. and then. Why man, is Boston having? You know what? Poor scheduling. I. I I think Huck is Canadian, right? Get on the line to Huck with your Canadian connections. Yeah, right. Get us some answers here. This is not this is not fair. Well, Jax, I'm on the line to you right now. What do you got? Spitfire, then, you said? I'm I'm going with Spitfire yeah. uh, in a surprise to nobody. Uh, got to take New York. <laughs> you got to mention Big what the match time. is before we get we get into the next one. Levelos. I mean, until someone deals with Jay Jonak, and by someone, I mean Jeff Kaplan or Jeff Goodman. The developers who nerve Zen for doing too much damage. Jay Jonah, Carpe and Shadowburn, they be like, dead, dead, dead. I'm just, did you see the numbers for Jay Jonah, Lepolos, in that series against, who was it? Against Boston, was it? Or against Houston? Yeah. Lepolos, he was DPS. Here's the other he problem. He was doing more damage than healing, a significant amount more. Here's the problem for Fusion. You need to show up good against every game, even the games you lose when when they had that close matchup against Outlaws, they looked bad in the games, the match, maps they lost. You can't do that against NYXL. Big they will punish for Philly, you. Though, Leplos. If, they, if they can somehow take a win here from either Seoul or New York, that would be big for them. It would be a huge step up. They're not going to. I said if. They're yeah. not going to. I, I mean, I agree with you, so I'm picking NYXL there, too. And Jack's I take word. Houston in the next one. Again, you got you got to say the matchup before you, oh, <laughs> sorry. you pick it. Uh, well, I mean, it's Houston, Outlaws versus Florida Mayhem. I You know me. I don't pick Florida ever unless yeah. they play Shanghai. There's a um, long time before we're going to pick Mayhem, either of us, I think, at this rate. And then Lepolos, the Shields come down for the next game. Uh, Spitfire versus, Spitfire versus uh, Houston, I mean, Los Angeles Gladiators. Fisher got something to prove. Bishop sent him packing to L.A. from London saying, you're not good enough to main tank. I've got gesture. But sadly, I think Fisher is good enough to main tank. I think the Gladiator DPS is not good enough to deal with Profit Lepolos. And... Jax, I've got NYXL Burgering. for the next game. Against the San Francisco Shock. No <laughs> surprise there, Lepolos. Oh, yeah. And in the final, what a, what a pitiful <laughs> end. What this pitiful ending, dude. Like, I'm sorry. As much as I like the Gladiator, this, this day four, I might... You know what? If there's contenders games on, on on Sunday or Saturday, there won't be because no one can ever be broadcast at the same time as Overwatch League, though. London Gladi London versus Los Angeles Gladiators, New York versus San Francisco, Florida versus Dallas. Who's going to watch that? Yes. I'm very curious. For this whole day, I might watch just to see what the numbers are like. Because this lineup here, these teams, levels, this is bad. This is a bad lineup of games. And I want to see what... The numbers are like for the Overwatch League when there's – like last week we had good games, at least one good game or potentially good games every day. This year, none of this is good. None of it. So I'm, I'm just double-checking you're going fuel Dallas. over, man. Dallas, yeah. I told you, maybe if Florida is playing Shanghai, maybe I'll pick them. Until then, I uh -uh. Jax, okay. I, I agree with you. I think, you know, we had the the dull week last, uh, last week or last yeah. stage. This is the dull week, at least right now. I'm, let me double check. Okay. I think this is probably the dullest week out of any matchup. So. There are there's potential for some sleeper games. Yeah, there absolutely. is some potential. But these the teams would have to play better than they have so far. This is the um, potential for a quiet week or yeah. some upsets. So, I mean, you can say that every week, but... Yeah, true. This one seems like it's good. There's no, there's no major head-to-heads, right? Like, there's yeah, no you're right. Seoul versus London kind of games. Jax, that's just part of the scheduling. And speaking of scheduling, Jax, we're coming towards the end of our podcast. Uh, might as well How wrap it up. How long does Contenders last, Leplos? Uh, probably oh, about as on, long dude, as our months? podcast. Two months? <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. March to May. Okay. Well, because I was, I was say, well, maybe we need to get some predictions in here. But I, no, I should have known it would take longer than a week. So... There are a number of teams I'm looking forward to. I want to see all these new academy teams for the Overwatch League. Um, I don't know when I'm going to see them because, as I've said, I don't have time to watch seven leagues worth of contenders levels and yeah. then 12 Overwatch League games. I just don't. 
It's absolutely but, impossible. Uh, and, unless, of course, someone's paying us to be a scout, in which case we still don't have time, but at least we could figure out who to narrow in on. They'd have to pay me. Man, the gladiators need to pay me. They need someone, Lebelos. How you going to sign I They scouted no Fisher fine. You... Don't get me started. Stan Kroenke, owner, Lebelos, he needs, he needs to call me. He needs to put me in touch with the people who are making decisions because they are incorrect. Matter of fact, you know how you can reach me up below? I am at Jax, J-A-X underscore Blake on Twitter. And even though Leplos isn't a Gladiator fan, he's knowledgeable. He can help them to realize their DPS is not good enough. So they contact Leplos at Leplos on Twitter. At OW Rundown, if you just want to holler at us and be like, at OW Rundown, I am Stan Kroenke, billionaire. Who do I need to sign so that my team can win and get out of the bottom third of the league? Hit us up at OW Rundown, twitch.tv slash Lepolo Stand. Check in every Sunday night, 9 p.m. Pacific. We'll school you. We'll school them, Lepolos. Google, YouTube, Lepolos. Watch the podcast on YouTube. Learn something. Learn that your DPS is not good enough. You down there, hey, who is it? Optic Gaming, Houston. And those people, Flame, Tayron, they're running, who was it, Jake on Tracer? Are you trolling me, Jake on Tracer? I don't think so. I think Love that's a good, he's just going to get more memes at this point. But, Jax, I, I think. I have to stop. I have to, I have to we're stop. Gonna, I we can, are going to stop. I could Jax, go on. I, I'm clicking the button. We're clicking the button. Outro. Outro. Toasty with the clock and chat. We're done. We're done. So many, 